Hello everyone and welcome back to Fate Grand Order. Man, I just had a scare. <laughs> when I opened the game up, it went through the logos at the start. And I was like, wait, did something happen to my account or something? What the heck? I mean, I didn't have to update it first, so I don't know what happened. As you can see, it was fine. It was just weird. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Oh, I'm probably using a very bad team for this. I thought I was still on my Lancer team. Oh well, I will simply have to make do. Oh, don't start, Ella. Really? Oh, hello, my baby. I don't know if you can hear her, but Ella is here. My whiny baby kitty. Oh my god, she's whining so much, and for what? Why are you whining? I know why. She just ate, so now she wants to cuddle, but... I really need to get this done now. <laughs> It's getting pretty late, so I need to have this ready for tomorrow. <laughs> Whoops. And if I sound tired, it's because I am. Not sure why, I just am. Also, also, if the, um, voices, like the in-game voices, sound louder than usual, it is because I turned up the voices for, um, recording Valentine scenes and didn't bother to turn them back down. I'll see if it's too much when I'm editing, and then if it is, I'll turn- I'll remember to turn it back down in the future. Okay, let's see what Masaki's MP looks like. I already know, but... <laughs> yeah, I do.
Now's your chance, beautiful black-garbed lady. Update. Red Hair heard the commotion and came back to help in the interval. Meanwhile, the author heroic spirits were entirely wiped out. <laughs> Thank you, kind horse with the gallant, entirely unhorse-like voice. <laughs> Cursed books, return to me. You've recovered more of the cursed books. But I'm afraid they don't have much magical energy either way. Ooh, or either. Whoops, I left auto on. Indeed. Still, while they may not be the original cursed book, I can't let them run around doing whatever they please. Thank goodness I was able to recover them. Thank you all so much for your help. Huh. Books checked out from the underground library, huh? You said it's possible this original cursed book could be mixed in among books like that, right? I did. Well, I remember seeing that girl carrying an armful of them. Which girl? There's like a million girls around here, Anderson. <laughs> ah. You know, that one with the glasses who's into manga and doujin and stuff. Oh, I know who he means now, senpai. Oki! Osakabe Hime! <clears throat> Let's go pay her a visit, then. What? Her room's not that far from my study, and the least I can do is show you the way. Yeah, I probably could have squeezed that into the previous video, but whatever. <sighs> man, I am so tired. What the heck, man? Alright, now this team should work okay. She's not answering. I'm not reading Osaka Behime's magical energy signal either. It looks like she's not in her room. There's also no cursed book signal, so I don't think we need to worry about getting inside. I see. I didn't think she ever left her room if she could help it. Well, at least I have an idea where she might be. Now that I've come this far, I might as well show you the rest of the way too. At least it'll be something different. I'm so sorry to make you go to all this trouble. Uh, I'm just helping out a bit on my way back to my easy chair. If you really want to thank me, you can lend me one of your rarer books. Despite his cold, off-putting demeanor, Mr. Anderson found himself unable to abandon Murasaki in her time of need. <laughs> huh? What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? When did we get a commentary track here? Commentary? Ah, uh, I'm so sorry, Lord Anderson. I just couldn't help it. What was that just now? Did anyone else see that commentary floating above your heads? Oh, this is just mortifying. <laughs> this is the only technique I ever managed to learn from Lord Abe no Seime. <sighs> Ties on commentary fest. Commentary fest. <gasps> Merely something I came up with. Nothing to do with the resurrection ri ritual of the Taoist god with a similar name. I didn't even want to learn it, but I acquired it almost by osmosis while I was around Lord Seimei. It's a dreadful technique that exemplifies the worst of Lord Seimei's mischievousness. 
It creates a sort of run running commentary that anyone can see or hear, save the one being commented on. The commentary cannot lie outright, but it can reveal very painful truths. I remember this one scary monk once told me such shame, such cowardice. Mm, yes, I have seen this technique's true nature. <laughs> it still gives me chills to think about it. A scary monk, huh? He warned it was not a technique to be used lightly, but, but I'm afraid I went and activated it in spite of myself. I'm afraid I often end up doing that whenever I relax my guard. It's almost like a curse. Uh, are you sure it isn't? Because it really does sound like one. Please forgive me, Lord Anderson. Huh. I got commented on all the time. It's nothing new to me. How many critical and faux critical reviews do you think we writers have suffered by now? Not to mention all that painful amateur analysis. If I had a dime for every slanderous accusation that's been thrown my way, I would have retired after my first book. Don't be an idiot, Shikibu. You're an author. You know what it's like. We writers are expected to have a monologue or two ready to go at all times. Not to mention, this commentary must be from the great gen great Eastern genius writer, Murasaki Shikibu. What greater honor could there be than that? Any man, no writer. Er, any man, no. Writer worth his salt should be so lucky. Thus, Anderson, still smiling, secretly decided to brag about this to Shakespeare later. <laughs> Lord Anderson. I think I just saw the ultimate Sundari in action. <laughs> huh? Now don't you start too, Cursor. I told you not to worry about it. Indeed, Mr. Anderson, with the sky blue hair and matching eyes, spoke not a hint of falsehood. Oh no, there it goes again. I'm so sorry. Oh gosh, oh gosh. So you really don't have any control over it, do you? Since I was the one commented on, I obviously have no idea what it said. But as a fellow author, I doubt you could have had it say anything that was wrong. Stop apologizing so much. Now come on, we're going to find Osaka Behime and take care of these cursed books. Life in Chaldea isn't quite like life anywhere else. Here, adventure could knock on your door at any time at all. Thus, resigned to his fate, Mr. Anderson decided he may as well stick around until the cursed books were disposed of once and for all. There it goes again. This is the library's reception desk. I guess this means we're back where we started. Osaka Behime has been coming to the library a lot lately, so since she wasn't in her room, I figured we'd find her here. Look, there's a note left on your desk. Let's take a look. Hmm, whoever wrote it has lovely handwriting. Hi, librarian. You weren't here when I showed up, so being the kind princess that I am, I'll put these books back on the shelves myself. What kind, beautiful lettering. I can almost see her personality leaping off the page. Oh. Ah. Uh, I just realized I forgot to tell you. In addition to running the library, Murasaki Shikibu also holds calligraphy and creative writing classes. Oh, and proper letter writing, too. I see. That does sound like it would be right up her alley. I just wanted to be of whatever help I could to anyone who wished that they had beautiful handwriting. Or who wanted to better express their innermost feelings. It's not much, but I do hope it's something. Yeah. Got hair in my mouth. I really need a haircut. Alright, let's go look for Osaka Behime. She shut that. She said she was going to put some books back on their shelves, right? 
Just a moment, please. It would seem that her note wasn't the only one left here. Um... Then I will too. Me too. Me three. Same as shall I likewise. Ah, great! Just our luck that they all had to run off inside the library. Maybe we should seal off the entrance too. Alright, Senpai, I'll make sure to close off the hall to the library. If anyone else shows up there, I'll send a message letting them know to wait until you get there. That should work. Alright, come on. <laughs> I forget how I voiced her one second. <laughs> I think it was something like... It was like... High-pitched, but not nasally. Like, in the throat. Um. <clears throat> what a nice princess I am, putting books back where I got them. I guess that would technically be against the rules in most libraries. But it looks like they don't even keep track of who's checked out what in this one. I don't think this is quite right, but... <laughs> I'm sure it'll be Daijobu since I let the librarian know what I was doing. <laughs> there she is. Good, we found her. Oh, it's her. The girl in glasses who frequents my library. Osaka Behime! Wait! Don't return that book! Master! And... Murasaki Pison? I mean, Senpai? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh! No, 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 What am I gonna do? Murasaki and I both love books, and we're both Japanese servants who are big into literature. There can't be room for both of us in the lineup. <laughs> this is exactly why I've been trying to avoid running into her and Machan at the same time! Uh, I'm not sure what to say. Oh, come on! We're both into books, we're both gloomy, we're practically identical twins! Right, Machan? Uh, um, Osaka Behime? Uh, putting aside how similar we might be, could you let me see those books you checked out? Also, have you noticed any books you don't recognize by any chance? Huh? You want to see my books? Well, sure, that's fine with... Wait. Y you mean here? In front of Machan? <sighs> okay, sweetie. Gah! How is my book floating on its own? This is a cursed book signal if I ever saw one. It's very strong, too. So given what happened in the study, I'm guessing these things turn into enemies and try to attack us? That's right, but once we defeat it, it will turn back into the book it used to- No, <laughs> please! Anything but that! I can't let Macho see what I was reading! The cursed book is transformed into an Eastern-style Hydra! Be careful, it has a lot of magical energy, too. S stay back! Please! Yamachika has stop! Sorry about this, Osaka Behime! <laughs> no! H huh? It looks like Osaka Behime has sided with the cursed book serpent. She really was serious about not wanting Master here to see what that book was. The author in me sympathizes. Alright, I'm not here to judge. Let's take down this serpent and, I guess, try not to hurt Osaka Behime much. So she was totally reading like an arrow dojin, right? <laughs> Like, that's gotta be it.
Yeah, that's totally what's going on here. What are you whining about? Oh my god. finish this as fast as I can because somebody is a big whiny baby yeah come back here whiny whiny baby it's still not showing what the title was huh Cat picks the most inconvenient times to decide she needs attention. <laughs> That's okay though, I love her. <laughs> it's over. Uh, you kept writing about certain. Uh, you keep writing about certain things long enough, you're bound to go a little crazy from time to time. Special translation. You call this a little crazy? <laughs> Don't worry, Osaka Behime. I'll do my best to keep the cursed book's title out of sight while I recover it. I've confirmed that you've recovered the cursed book. It does have a lot of magical energy, but it's still less than a quarter of the energy that was stolen, which means this isn't the original either. nightmare! Not only did I make a complete baka of myself, I didn't even put up a good fight! As if being too similar to her wasn't bad enough! I'm not even a good writer! All I've ever made is doujin! I've never written any historic novels, let alone any masterpieces or classics! Why would Machan want to keep a pale imitation like me around when he could have the real thing with Murasaki senpai <laughs> Okay, really. <laughs> Matcha? You're not an imitation of her at all. For starters, you came here first. 
Cursor, Cursor spoke from the heart without a hint of dishonesty. Is that Marasaki's strange sort of automatic commentary track technique? The one that only says things that are true? I call it Taizan Commentary Fest. Osaka Bihime, Lord Cursor is right. You and I are nothing alike. We may both like to put pen to paper to express our thoughts and feelings. But in my mind, that only makes us comrades, regardless of our different time periods. <laughs> Paisen! Machan! Come on, sorry. I should never have acted up like that. But I'm really, really glad Machan never saw that book's title. If he had, I think my poor little princess Kokoro would have broken out into a million pieces. <laughs> there, there. You have nothing to apologize for. This was all my fault to begin with. <laughs> Tyson! There, there. Glad everything worked out. Hey, in case you've forgotten, we're a long way from happily ever after here. We still haven't found the original cursed book, and we don't even know where to look. So, come on, let's get moving. We can start by checking all the books those other servants came here to return. It's so nice of you to help us like this, Anderson. Believe me, if there was someone else you could ask, I'd be gone in a heartbeat. But in for a penny, in for a pound, as my colleague might say. Oh my goodness, why me but? Alright, how long are you going to keep cuddling each other? Let's go already. Okay. I, I still don't know what's going on here, but I'll come along too. Now, I think I need to end this video here before my cat dies of loneliness. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, etc, etc. I'll see you all next time.